As a priority school, we've really focused on being culturally responsive in terms of using our curriculum, designing lesson plans that really focus on the student's culture, so their background, their experiences, their life, what they like, what they don't like, and using that to design activities, assessment, and really focusing on their goals as learners. It's the language that they use, so when they're talking and I walk into a classroom, I say, what are you learning? It's never, you know, I'm, 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 I'm working on this worksheet or I'm, uh, I'm using the computer. The kids know why they're working in groups or why they're outside doing an activity so they can explain that to me and they can articulate it in their own way. When students talk about what they're learning, they're beginning to use the language that we're using in the learning targets. So as a learning target, it would be an I can statement of I can use sentences to make a paragraph and they're then using that information and repeating it back in terms of uh, identifying their learning goals as, a, as an individual and then using that language later on to in other classes I've heard from teachers that they're learning to use the information that they're learning in English class in social studies class. Well we have had the benefit of receiving a little bit of extra attention, some support from the board, some individuals have come in and really given us their expertise and helped us focus ourselves as staff and made us more of a collaborative unit so that we are all striving towards the same goal. So it wasn't huge changes, it was tweaking what people were already doing well. So it was just being reflective on their practices. So asking themselves, are we engaging our students? Uh, you know, are, are they learning? Are they meeting those goals? And how we looked at it was, uh, we looked at what the kids already know and what they're interested in. And we uh, asked our teachers to kind of base their, or create their lesson plans based on that. Building those connections with students and making my learning activities really focused on them as individuals. So giving them lots of choice and expanding my idea of what is reading and what is writing and using those expanded ideas um, to help students get closer to their goals. We use the community as a way to learn. We use the building because the building is one of the most important parts of this community to learn and, uh, and what they're interested in, even if it is video games, how do we use that to kind of say, oh, uh, to engage that kid and have them in that conversation. When we're at home, we see pictures of our family and ourselves on our walls. So I like them to see themselves represented on our walls. It's kind of it's a family thing. So, and I, I, I refer to us at the beginning of the school year and throughout as our school family. So I think it builds respect and, and trust. And but, um, I think it creates a self like a safe environment so that they can take risks in their learning. Um, cause they know that they're accepted. Okay. So we're lucky enough here that we have the right staff. That it was it was small changes to make and they were they were here for their kids for the kids and so when we asked them to make those changes it was an easy step and once they once they got a, a handle on what they were at to do it was, it was very easy for them to do